Hello, and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, I'm going to show you what I put together for the ESP32 S2. Basically, it's six hosts in one. Um, it's all in one bin, so you can go ahead and load up the bin file on your board and have access to six different hosts. But let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Go over to our settings, go into our network. Make sure that we do have connect to the internet check. Then we're just going to set up internet connection and select Wi-Fi. Go with custom. Give it a few moments just to load up and we'll select echo stretch. And from here we'll just put in the usual password which is just 1 to 8. Go ahead and hit R2 and OK. Give it a few moments to load up here and then once it does we'll just go with the default settings which is automatic. Do not specify automatic, automatic, and do not use. Okay, we'll go ahead and back in there. Now you can go up to the user guide and go ahead and select the user guide. Or you can go ahead with the browser. I do recommend using the browser uh, just because you're able to go in there and just close everything out and clear everything. Um, clear your frequently used pages. Go into your browser history. Clear that as well. And then finally just go into your settings and delete your cookies and clear your website data. Now we'll go ahead and back completely out and launch our browser. Okay, and as you can see it does load up. We do have our six hosts. We have Carol's hosts, Chameleon's hosts, Experiments hosts, PRB and Lethal's host, the Wolf's host, and Dasky's host. They all do work. This is for the ESP32 S2. I do have one for the Feather S2, which is six megabytes. This one's only four megabytes, so there was a little bit of a limit that we could do. Um, 16 megabyte one, which is the Feather S2, has all your game mods on it and has the trainers. As for the trainers, they're not really that useful anymore. Um, you can still use them, they're still great to use, but Gold Hen does have it all built right into it now. But um, yeah, other than that there, we'll just uh, go through the options here. Um, I know other people were asking about the ESP8266. I'm currently working on it. Hopefully I can get it out this week. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. So if we go into host info, we can go ahead and click on each uh, each host here and it will bring us to their default host. Um, but you need to be able to connect to your Wi-Fi. And then other than that, it has the Twitter accounts. You can go ahead and check out their Twitters. The updates. As for the updates, I just threw in a couple options just to get this window created. Um, but you can see the color scheme of buttons are by PRB, and then the host images are all done by Experiment, which is the owner of the X Host Pro. Uh, the about, just kind of want to thank everybody. I did miss a few names, which I'll add, uh, add in on the next update. And then you have your settings. Nothing really in here that's useful for anybody I don't really think. Um, besides the config editor. And this is just to set up your own Wi-Fi connection if you want to be able to s watch YouTube or whatnot. Um, I just hit R2. But that is fine. Other than that there, guys, we'll just jump right into it. We'll go ahead and back out of here. Uh, we'll just go ahead with Carol's host. Go ahead and select it. Give it a few moments here. It will automatically do the whole USB thing for us, so we don't need to actually insert a USB. So any moment we should see the message on supported file system pop up. There we go. And then we should have a jailbreak done. Okay, you may get a memory error. Sometimes that does happen. Uh, just give it a few more seconds and it should do it again and you should get right in. And there we go. Jailbreak is done. So from there you can go ahead and select the latest gold hand which is 2.2.2 .2 and as you can see it does come up. So we can go ahead and just close out of that window. Uh, we go into our 6 and one host here. You can go ahead and check out all the hosts. You can use your favorite host if you want. Um, like I said, the the 4 megabyte ESP32 S2 doesn't have the trainers or the mod menus. Um, 
But on that there, that's basically it for the video, guys. I just wanted to jump on, show you that there. I will uh, keep you guys updated with the ESP8266. Currently working on it. Hopefully I can get it done today. But if not today, it'll be done sometime this week. So that's basically it for the video. Just go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.